Hey Siri, give me a timer for 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes and counting. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it is Friday the 3rd of April and Elena's upstairs, she's just in work and I'm off work today, I've been working all week and I'm just getting ready for lunch. So for lunch today, Elena and I are having a fry, it's vegetarian, so we have vegetarian sausages, we've got hash browns just gone into the oven, I'm gonna do some eggs in a few minutes and some toast. I haven't actually picked up the camera in probably about two weeks and just with everything that's going on and work has been intense, I just didn't really feel like making any YouTube videos. Um, but as we kind of got into the later part of this week, I really started to feel like I was missing making videos and creating content. Um, so I've decided that I want to vlog this weekend. This weekend is Elaine and I's birthday weekend. So today is actually my dad's birthday. And I'm kind of sad that I can't go over and visit him and say hello. I have a present for him. I'm gonna drop it over at the house later on and hopefully like, wave through the window at them and then come back. I'll only be there for a few minutes. And then it's Elaine's birthday on Sunday, on the 5th. And then it's gonna be my birthday on Monday the 6th. And I've taken my birthday off work, so I don't have to work on my birthday, which is amazing. And I'm really excited about that. And like work has been really intense because of all of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic stuff and everything, just there's been a lot going on in work. And as I said in my last vlog, I'm seen as essential staff and we're seen as an essential service. So I have to go into work. And actually since I made my last vlog, things have changed in Ireland a little bit. So we had social distancing restrictions put in place on us just in my last vlog they've been increased. Almost all businesses that aren't seen as essential have been closed down unless they can be done remotely. So that's all like cafes, restaurants, uh, shops that aren't sort of supermarkets and groceries or, um, you know, I think garages are still open so you can buy petrol. Uh, you can still get like your tires replaced on your car if you're punctured, that kind of thing. But effectively everything outside of that is just, it's closed and uh, we have restrictions. Hello. Hello. We've got restrictions on leaving the house to a degree, so we're not allowed, like you can go out and you're allowed to like go out for a walk or a run and exercise, but you're not allowed to go more than a two kilometer distance from your house. Um, the only exceptions to traveling more than two kilometers from your house are if you need to buy groceries and the shop is more than two kilometers away, or you need to travel to work and that's more than two kilometers away. You're allowed to do that. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, so we have another few minutes to go before lunch is ready and then we're gonna eat. So lunch was very tasty and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Frank is just over on his bed, being the laziest lump in the world. He's just fast asleep. Now, when I took him out for a walk this morning, and um, there was a stretch of where I take him down, where the road is straight, um, and we ran down that. So I think he's just a little bit more tired than he would normally be after a walk. And I think he's enjoying just having me and Elaine around today. Like, Elaine's upstairs working again, and I'm just here, I'm chilling in the conservatory. I'm going to make myself some coffee and maybe play the switch for a little bit. I've got it here. So yeah, one thing I'll say about um, just all this like, sort of social isolation and social distancing that we're doing. I've had a little bit more time to play the switch than I've had recently. So that's been a lot of fun. And there's a game I've been playing a lot called Gear Club Unlimited. So I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just that one there on the left. And it's a racing game. You sort of buy cars, you do the cars up, and then you race them around circuits. It's it's good fun. I'm really enjoying it. And it was on sale on the Switch store for $9.99. So yeah, for a tenner, I'm really getting a lot of enjoyment out of it. One other thing that I've done as well is I've started a new Instagram account. And the Instagram account that I've started, it's all to do with cars. And I'm just posting pictures of cars on it because to be honest with you, I love cars. And just with the way things are at the moment, it's bringing me a lot of joy to just kind of find these pictures of beautiful cars and put them out in the world and share them. 
and that's kind of making me happy and at the moment what I've been doing is I've been going back through all my old photos of really nice cars that I've taken pictures of down through the years and I've been posting them and I've been posting one a day and so far I'm just really enjoying sharing these pictures and I'm hoping that by the time I run out of pictures to share that our restrictions will be lifted and I'll be able to actually go back out into the world and take pictures of newer cars. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do. And I'll leave a link in the description of this video below if anyone wants to go and check out this new Instagram. But it's just, if you're into cars, it's something that I'm just having a lot of fun doing. So that's that. But that's kind of really where I'm at right now. So I'm just gonna go and take it easy for the next little while. One thing that kind of sucks is it's been a really nice day up to date, but in the last 20 minutes, it started raining. Not that it makes a difference because it probably wouldn't be going outside anyway, but Elaine and I were kind of looking out earlier on and we thought we might actually have our lunch outside today, but we wouldn't be going outside and lounging in the back garden now. So for dinner tonight, the original plan was that we were gonna make pizzas, but we didn't do that. Instead, we ordered from Camille Thai, and we got all of this. So I'll show you guys properly when it's all laid out, but Elaine, what did you get? A tofu salad thing. And this is extra veg. Yeah. And this is my... Thing. Thing. And my brown and wild rice. And we've had this before from here, and it's very, very yummy. So we've had dinner and it was very, very tasty. And Elaine has just gone upstairs, she's gonna have a bath, and I'm gonna chill on the couch and watch some TV. Hey guys, so it is now Saturday the 4th of April and it is just coming up to a quarter to one in the afternoon. In case you're wondering why my face is so red. I'm just back from a run. So I've done my first 5K run of the year and at no point during the run was I more than two kilometers from my house. So I didn't break any rules or any of our restrictions. Uh, we're allowed to go out and run and exercise so long as we stay within two kilometers of the house. So I did that and I am tired now, so. It's just really tough because I haven't done a 5k in ages. I did it in a little over half an hour. I did it in just under 32 minutes. So it's way off my fastest time, but I'm happy with it because as I say, I haven't been running at all in ages. So it's just really nice to get out. And like, I didn't sleep well last night. So it was kind of good, I think, just to go out and clear my head. And I'm gonna go up and have a shower now in a second. And then Elaine and I can get to having lunch. And for lunch today, Elaine is making us pancakes. Just getting ready to make dinner now. For dinner tonight we're having pizzas, so I'm very excited about that. We're making the pizzas ourselves, so I'm just getting to chopping all of our toppings. So I have a red onion, I have a pepper, and I've got some black olives, and that's what we're putting on the pizza. And then we've got these pizza bases here. So we just put our tomato sauce and our mozzarella on here. We put our toppings on, we put them in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes. And then our pizzas will be ready for eating. Dinner was delicious. Those pizzas are really, really tasty. And if I had my way, I would eat one every single day. So Elaine and I are just planning on taking it easy now for the next little while and we're going to watch some of the Tiger King. Good morning. It is now Sunday the 5th of April, which means it's Elaine's birthday. So that's exciting. And we're 
obviously out of the car. We've just come down to do groceries and Elaine's gone in with the list and she's gonna basically grab everything and put it into the car and so I can kind of open up the house and everything we get back and we kind of keep ourselves as safe as possible. But then today is kind of gonna be all about Elaine. Now the only thing of it is Elaine's really tired today because she didn't get a huge amount of sleep because our next door neighbors had a party last night and were awake till 4 a.m. and making loads of noise, which you know, isn't ideal. Normally you wouldn't really mind, but we're in the middle of a pandemic. People are supposed to be social distancing. I don't really think a party is the best thing to be doing at the moment. Otherwise, today should be a really nice day and I'm looking forward to kind of just spending a bit of time with Elaine today and kind of making it all about her as much as we can. We're back from doing the groceries and we're both showered and changed. Elaine is inside and she's making us lunch and for lunch today we're having French toast, which I'm very excited about. This is something Elaine has been wanting to make for ages and she wanted to have it today as a birthday treat and I would love to have been able to make it for her, but I don't know how to make French toast and she does. So she's making it herself and she's quite happy with that. Um, and then Frank is just wandering around the garden and he has just come running straight over to me. Uh, Franco, come here. Come here, Woody. Come here. Okay. I took Frank for a walk just after I got back from doing the groceries. And we were out for a walk, I'd say about 10 minutes, and we came across this little Jack Russell. Very cute little lad, actually. Um, but the dog was obsessed with Frank and he followed us all the way around our walk. And he didn't actually leave until I took Frank back into the house and just like didn't let him into our house. But I washed him through the glass in the front door and he went back out of the garden then. So I feel like he belongs to someone and he just got out and has probably gone back home. Um, but yeah, I was getting a little bit worried that we may have accidentally adopted a second dog. <laughs> lunch lunch what I made myself lunch what you made yourself uh, so good and we've discovered that there are two slices left of the bread the bread's really huge like this size and you cut it in half uh, so we were originally gonna have like a fry for Ronan's birthday but what are we gonna have Ro? more French toast yeah and what we did was so it's peanut butter French toast so I used you grab me the white bread yeah so White grinder is the bread. But anyway, so this is the bread. And then I cut it in half and put peanut butter on one side of it. And then sandwich it together. And then I had two eggs, half a cup of milk and cinnamon in a dish. And I mixed them all together. And then I soaked each side of the bread for like 45 seconds to, to get up as much as possible. And then I put them on a pan for like three minutes each side. And then just at the end bit, there was a bit like where the, not on the, the, on the cut side, you just have to like hold it down to fry it. And then that was the result. And then for the, this, we made a jam, which has raspberries and chia seeds in it. And it's just raspberries melted, frozen raspberries melted and chia seeds. And it's not like, it's an incredible jam. Mm, it's really good. And then for the yogurt, we added some uh, cream into the yogurt to make it a bit more decadent. And I'm so happy in my belly. We plan to eat most of our birthday celebrations because there's not a huge amount else to do. For dinner tonight, Elaine and I are having fish and chips. Now, our original plan was to get a takeaway of some description tonight because it's Elaine's birthday. And then we were thinking we might do the same again tomorrow. But what we're actually gonna do is Elaine decided she wanted fish and chips. So she wanted kind of oven chips and oven fish. So I'm making that now. And it's a really kind of straightforward and simple dinner to make. So that's what we're having tonight. And then tomorrow we're gonna have a chili. So yeah, that's on now. So it's gonna be about 25 minutes before it's ready. just left Frank out the back garden there just to pee and I noticed I was just watching him from the kitchen and I noticed that he's just become obsessed with the fence up here and 
he was just like walking up and down, pacing and sniffing, and he stopped as soon as I came out, because of course he did. All along here, he's just been pacing up and down the garden and trying to sniff under the fence here. So I don't know what he has detected, but he's obviously smelling something or can detect like an animal scent. They have a dog next door, so like their dog might have done something um, that he's smelling and that's what he's detecting. Or it could be another animal entirely. Um, but either way, he's very interested in it. Dinner is over. So dinner was really tasty and we had FaceTime with the Lanes family and I had a couple of martinis, Elaine had a couple of gin and tonics. But the real MVP of the whole thing was... Me! That's true, actually. I was just gonna say the brownie that Elaine made for dessert. Here is the brownie. It is made, it is... So, remember how many vlogs ago when we went up the mountains to a hike life thing and it's organized by a oh, uh, stick a card at the top yeah it's organized by a girl called Roz Purcell so she's a content creator and a lot of her uh, content relates to food or exercise or just like life tips and stuff like that so she had this recipe for brownies which is from one of her cookbooks and basically it's uh, 200 grams of peanut butter four tablespoons of cacao powder or cocoa powder uh, four tablespoons of maple syrup, some vanilla extract, one and a half bananas mashed, uh, some salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. And then you just mix it all together and you put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Unbelievable, like, it's so tasty. So it's like a no flour brownie. And yeah, it's pretty incredible. There's meant to be like a a peanut butter ganache thing that you put on the top, but I just didn't have time to make it. Um, and I probably won't be arsed now. I, I'd say I'm not arsed. So that was our dinner. And now we are just going to tidy up. And when I say we, I mean me, because it's Elaine's birthday, so she doesn't tidy up today. And then we're going to finish out The Tiger King. If you haven't watched The Tiger King, watch it. It is beyond crazy. Hey guys, so it is now Monday the 6th of April which means it's my birthday and Elaine and I are currently just chilling in the back garden on our sun loungers and as I say that a big dirty cloud has just gone and blocked out the sun and the temperature has dropped considerably in those last few seconds um, but it is nice to kind of just be sitting outside and the weather today is meant to be quite sunny so my hope is that we can spend as much of today out here in the back garden as possible and Elaine had a very, very amazing idea just there. Well, I was going to say, even if we're in jumpers and jackets, I just like to be out in the air. Yeah, same. Um, currently still in my pyjamas. So I was originally going to cook Ronan the French toast again for lunch, but I've had so many so sweet things that I mm -hmm. kind of, basically I was watching a vlog and whoever it was had had like a poke bowl or like a noodly bowl thing. And I was like, oh, that looks very nice. So I asked Ronan, would he like to order from a nice restaurant on delivery for his birthday lunch? And you'll all be very shocked to know that I said yes, yes I would. <laughs> Lunch has arrived and yes, I am eating it out of a Pyrex dish. I'm using the dish because it's big enough to hold the whole lunch. Now we are just chilling in the back garden, having a lazy birthday afternoon. I'm enjoying it. Are you enjoying it? Yep. I have to go hang up what? Uh, we just spent the last, I'd say, 15-20 minutes on our phones on the Aston Martin configurator because I saw on their Instagram that they had a challenge they wanted people to uh, use the configurator and show them their images of their dream DB11s so we both just did that now and I really enjoyed it and I think Elaine just did it to put up with me because it's my birthday um, but yeah that's kind of the day we're having Oh, 
For dinner tonight, Elaine made chili and it was vegetarian chili. It was really, really tasty and we had some tortilla chips with it, which isn't something we would normally have, but I'm a huge fan of tortilla chips. So because it's our birthday weekend, we decided to go all out. We're also having a couple of gin and tonics as well because it's our birthday and we're celebrating. So dinner is over and we're in the sitting room now and we're going to sit down and watch the last episode of The Tiger King. I know that I said last night that we were going to finish at The Tiger King, but in the end we didn't. We just got into bed and chilled out. So we're going to finish out the last episode of The Tiger King tonight and I'm very excited to see how this all pans out. It's just so crazy. <laughs> Frank has just been out for his nightly rummage around the garden and Elaine and I have finished finally watching The Tiger King and it is such a good documentary, absolutely crazy story and yeah, I just, I recommend anyone go and watch it. It's just, it's bizarre but it's compelling watching as well. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for our big birthday weekend. It was much quieter, I guess, than we had originally planned because like when we were talking about our birthdays a few months ago, we kind of talked about the idea of having a big house party and all that kind of thing. But obviously we couldn't do any of that with the restrictions that are in place at the moment. So we just had kind of a quiet, low-key birthday here, just the three of us. But it was really lovely and I really enjoyed it. Sweetie, did you have a good birthday? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we had a nice time and we're back to work tomorrow so i'm gonna leave it here for this video so i just want to say thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video if you do give it a big thumbs up please subscribe and stay safe stay at home do as you're told and i will see you guys in the next video